Hello from Pataudry, another massive match for the Dons coming up at home to Hamilton here, 3 o'clock kickoff, and our uh, Red TV match day coverage kicks off at half two. These are our guests on the show today. Hopefully uh, they're here for a, a home win. Uh, former Dons midfielder Stuart Duff is here, and I'm delighted to say we're joined by the co-manager of the Dons women's team, Emma Hunter, uh, who's hoping uh, that her team can be back in action sooner rather than later frustrating times Emma. Yeah obviously but look it's hard for everyone in this situation I think we've all got our own circumstances but yeah I mean we've seen a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel I think the SWPL1 coming back this week that was announced which is a huge step forward and hopefully a catalyst to see us getting back and back into winning ways we're really keen to get this season you know finished because we've done so well so far this season to be nine points clear at the top so yeah we're just desperate to get back but understandably it's a difficult situation for for everyone at the moment. We'll get your thoughts on the men's team in a sec. Stuart, what are you thinking? Is, is this must win today in terms of the battle for third place? I think so. I think it's vitally important that they do get the, the three points Aberdeen today with um, Hibs having that game in hand, you know, with being the points behind. I think it's vitally important to put the pressure back on Hibs going into the into the split. Um, I think Derek's already touched on, you know, he sees that as a a, a big important uh, stage in the in the season as the winter split comes in, but I think today's could potentially put a, you know a marker out for the, the remainder of the season, you know, for them to really kick on and push 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 the pressure on Hibs and really really push them for that third spot, which they'll be aiming for. I watched the highlights of that game midweek, Hamilton against St Johnston, uh, two great goals in it. You took research, or maybe a step too far by watching the whole thing, yeah. Emma. So, and, and they're going to be difficult opponents. We know what Hamilton do at this time of the season. I think they've taken six points from their last five games. Yeah, that's right. And and you could see that they're playing with a real confidence at the moment. You could see that against St Johnston. And, you know, St Johnston and their team have just you know, won a cup. So you'd think it would be them that was going in with a lot of confidence. So Hamilton were really organised. They, they played with a real intensity. And actually... Probably a little bit unlucky not to get that victory, although over the over the piece probably a draw was fair enough. But yeah, look, Hamilton will be really, really hard to break down today. And like we said, they've got six points, and, and Aberdeen have got the four points in the last five games. So this is a chance for Aberdeen to really put that marker down, as, as Stuart says. Last time out, uh, Celtic Park, a bit like the one before, uh, in that Aberdeen took a lot of plaudits from that, but nothing, Stuart, in the way of points. Yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. I think both games are probably quite similar. You know, lost a lost a probably a bad goal from Derek's point of view. A bit unfortunate the second game with the deflection, but they actually, you could see them actually groaning into the game, causing Celtic more problems. I think it could have potentially been a different story if you know the, the opportunity from Ash Taylor early in the game had had went in. However, it wasn't to be, but there was signs of improvement there. For me, you know, there was a bit more of an attacking threat. I think for Aberdeen of late, it's probably been the final third where they've struggled creating opportunities, you know, taking those opportunities as well, because defensively they have been relatively strong. Um, however, against Celtic, it's, you know, it's a tough place to go against a good side, but um, here's hoping that they can really, uh, you know, show an attack and threat and be defensively strong today against a tough Hamilton side you know like Emma said it's you know they're going to be very confident coming into this I know Brian Rice you know works him very hard and you know they all want to work for him and they want to play for him and get three points but here's hoping uh, Derek set the Aberdeen squad up ready to go. More from Stuart and more from Emma coming later on. Let's hope for the best, as Stuart says. Uh, it's a three o'clock kickoff um, and our match day live show starts at half two. We'll see you for that.